All right, chip of the day. Oh no, not another 7400 series. Yeah, it's a National Settle Collector Series 5474. Uh, but it's a part number DM8288. 8288. And it's a, it starts with a DM. So, yeah, um, there were a lot of standard 7400 parts, but then there was some non-standard 7800 parts that certain companies made. And anyway, National had these weird... 8,000 series parts, but it says it's 5474 compatible. So they're, 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 they're TTL chips. They're just weird. <laughs> um, so if you're looking for a boring chip, this is not the boring chip. So what is it? It is a pre-settable 12 divide by 12 counter. So it's a pretty, pretty weird chip. Um, it's going to be this one down at the bottom here. We'll take a look. We'll take a look at a different, a different one a little bit in a little bit here, but let's just kind of take a look at what it does. It's got two clock inputs. Um, so it's got one divide by two and one divide by six, and that's how it gets to divide by 12, but they're separate. And the, the first divide by two is good up to 45 megahertz, which was really screaming back in the day, but only the first stage. The first stage was, was rated at 45, and then all the other stages are slower than that. So it's kind of, kind of strange. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's take a look at it first, and then we'll take a look at the, uh, at the diagram here. Um, so I've put my logic analyzer on a chip here. I've got a 555 timer sending the clock in, and then it'll get divided by 12, right? Um, and so let's see if it really is. All right, so the upper trace is the clock, and then we have A, B, C, and D, and certainly gets divided by 2, gets divided by 4, gets divided by... Six. <laughs> so the, the last two there are kind of funny, but it, it does divide by does divide by twelve. If you go from this falling, it's a, it, it also click, click, clocks on the falling edge. So if you go from this falling edge to falling this falling edge, you'll find that there's twelve clocks that does that. So it does divide by twelve. It's also presettable, so you could wire it up to divide by other strange numbers to do other strange things. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but it does have four um, loadable inputs. You can actually load this thing. And actually, it actually, in the data sheet, says, yeah, you can use it as a latch, too. Uh, why you would ever choose this part as a latch would be really silly. But, um, yeah, I suppose you could you could latch it in and then just not clock it. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a, it is a, uh, it's kind of a strange part. Let me, uh, let me pull the, the, Data sheets printing wasn't very good here, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. All right, all right. So I made a real big one here, um, and uh, back in the day, they didn't pay much attention to pinout. It's like you paid attention to the layout of the IC, and then whatever pins was the nearest ones, those are the ones they used. So they didn't really think about layout. Much later, they started to do that. They, they started paying attention to which pins do what. But anyway, this one's kind of weird. Anyway, this is the divide by two, and, and these three here are the divide by six. So there's, you bring in a clock here, and the clock is over here. Pin eight is the clock for this one. And then it divides it by two, and you get the A output which is here. Now you can jumper these two together. You can bring that into the clock of the second stage. So those are close together. That's kind of nice. Um, and then these do the divide by six. Uh, there is a strobe, which I would call latch. Uh, you, you can put data here and you can latch it into the part. Um, so the, the DA, DB, DC, DD, a, B, C, D. Those are the data inputs, so you can load this thing. And then the outputs are A out, B out, C out, and D out. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty weird chip. Um, anyway, it's, it, it's, it's also drawn funny. It, it, I don't know. It's got J's and K's, and some of them are used, and some of them aren't, and there's clocks, and there's sets and resets, and it's kind of a weird, weird chip. Um, so if you want to take a look at this thing, um, I would say 
really the only reason to use this chip is if you needed to divide by 12. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably the only people who ever said, oh, hey, let's use that chip. They needed to divide by 12 and they just didn't want to think. And they said, hey, here's, here's a divide by 12, right? So you're building a clock and you got 12 hours in the, in the day. And, you know, so, so yeah, they're going to, they're going to do, you know, divide by 12, divide by 12. Um, and then you get 24 hours. But anyway, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's, it's nice to have a uh, uh, data probe here on the uh, logic analyzer probe on, on the scope. Makes it easy to look at uh, various signals altogether. So there you go. Chip of the day is a DM8288.